YouTube, I'm going to show you how to connect and control your iPod on your computer. And it's very simple and easy to do. And all you have to have is a jailbroken iPod, like this right here. Um, and of course, you have to have Wi Fi connection. Okay, very simple and easy to do. And I'll show you how that works right now. First, you have to open Cydia and you have to go to search. Okay? Next thing you have to do is click on the search bar, okay, and search V E E. And once you search that, it's Vinci, the very first one. And you'll click install and confirm. And then after that, you'll after it's installed, you'll go back to the search bar and you'll search V S F. VSS. Very easy and simple. VSS. And it's the only one that pops up. And you'll click install once again. And confirm. Sorry about that. Install and then confirm. And then after that, it'll go back to your home page. Very simple. And then this is where you need your computer. So go onto your computer. Go to Google. Okay. And you'll type in VNC. VNC and enter. That's all you have to do. And then it'll be this second choice right here. You click on that with all the options. And once you click on that, it'll come up like this. And you'll see this little thing down here that says VNC downloads. VNC downloads right here. Okay? That's what you're going to click on. So after you click on that, it'll bring you this page right here. See? It's right there. You see all these columns? Yeah. Bring you that page. Well, and then you scroll down and you go right here where it says download and use. The very first one. You click on that and then it'll bring you to this registry details thing page. You enter your name, email, and telephone. You can enter fake names or your real ones, whatever you want to do. And just fill it out. And then you click pro proceed to download. After you click on that, it'll be your second choice. This is what I recommend is the VNC Free Edition Viewer for Windows. It's the best thing, and that's what I use, and it works perfectly. Okay, so it's this little choice right here. And then you'll go over, and you'll click. You want to click on the download next to the bottom one that says Zip Archive. And you'll click Download. And once that is finished, You'll scroll down and have the agreement. You'll click I accept these terms and agreements and you hit download. And once you download it, what I do is I saved it to my desktop. So you can exit out of that and I'll save it to my desktop. And it'll be this little VA icon right there. And it'll pop up that you want to run it. Yes, I want to run it. And you click on your IP, you type in your IP address for your iPod. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you right now. So you'll go to your iPod. Okay, and you'll go to settings. It's very simple. Once again, you have to have a Wi Fi network, so you go to your Wi Fi and you'll click on the little blue arrow that's next to it. Okay, and then your IP address will be right there. Okay, that's mine. And then you type that in right there. And once that's done, you'll click OK. You click on the little OK button and a little thing will pop up on your iPod and it says accept or reject and of course you want to accept it and voila there it is it's right there on your desktop and it's everything I have on my iPod of course um see watch this move over it moves over move over it moves over it has all the same icons see there is um the lighter my Bible, Hell's Kitchen, Bejeweled, blah, 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 blah. And what do you know? It's right there, too. So, there you go. That's pretty much the whole thing. Look, you can control it on here, too. Like, if I open MySpace, voila, it opened MySpace. See? Controls everything. Controls your iPod. And your iPod controls it. It's perfect. Exactly what I hope you're looking for. And... I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment and uh, I'll be posting more videos.